Polly Diamond and the Magic Book by Alice Kuypers Illustrated by Deanna Tuldano Chapter 6 Reading I fumble for my glasses. The whole house is completely changed. The hallway is the longest I've ever seen it. I'm not sure I can spot the end of it, even when I squint. There are hundreds of doors, thousands of doors, maybe a million doors. Stacked along the walls are a gazillion boxes. They are like large toy blocks scattered by a giant baby. The roll of carpet is stuck to the ceiling. I write double, triple awesome. But why is the carpet on the ceiling? You wrote the roll of carpet in the hallway is fixed up. But I didn't mean... Never mind. It doesn't matter. I can't wait to see what's inside all the boxes. I open a box. It's jam-packed full of books. I open another one. Same thing. More books. I open five or six more boxes. Each box is full of books. Fantabulous. I turn to the squillions of doors. I imagine I am an explorer. I can see the news headline. Intrepid and daring explorer Polly Diamond, discoverer of unmapped oceans and unknown islands. Today, Polly Diamond, the bravest explorer ever, will explore what is behind each of the squillion doors. I push a door, but it's stuck. I shove harder. It opens a crack. Bottles tumble out. I go to the next door and the next. There are three libraries jammed with even more books. I pause at a dance studio, which is loaded with tutus and pink shoes. I shut that door. I do not like ballet or pink. Another room is stuffed full of art supplies. I push open door after door and door after door after door. Then I see a swimming pool. It's so full of rubber ducks and inner tubes and inflatable dolphins that it would be impossible to swim in it. I find a spiral staircase and slide down the banister from fantastic floor to fabulous floor. Tweet. Along the stairs, the wallpaper has bird pictures, but the birds move. They twitter and tweet. They fluff their wings. Finally, I open a turquoise door. It's my bedroom. The fish are still swimming along the walls, but now in the middle is a round 12 poster bed. It looks like a crown. I leap onto the bed. Ouch! It's very hard. As hard and as pretty as a crown. And there is a water slide. I climb to the top. I win down! But it doesn't get me wet. I go up and down 10 times 20. There is a huge flat screen TV on my wall. I stop sliding and flick through the channels. I flip open my book and write, thank you, I love the new house, it's perfect. I'm glad you like it. Actually, you know what? There are a couple of extra things we could do. Really, like what? I tap my pen against my tongue. Ideas float around my head. I could write a beach in the yard and a chocolate fountain in every room. My tummy growls, I'm so hungry I could eat a cat. That's my dad's way of saying he's super hungry. Miss Hairball says, this is called a hyperbole. This means dad is exaggerating. Eating a cat would be disgusting. Yuck. I write, we can work more on the house later. First, can I have a sandwich, please? Not peanut butter. I do not like peanut butter. Hmm. Can I have a club sandwich? Sure. Next to me on the bed pops a very large plate. On it are two slices of buttered bread. Both are stuck to the sides of a wooden bat. What is that? A club sandwich. It's what you wrote. A club sandwich. Definition of club. A heavy stick with a thick end. I giggle. Mom sometimes says you get what you get. And you don't get upset. It's so rhymy. It must be true. Chapter 6 Questions Words are broken into syllables or beats. Breaking a word into syllables or beats is a reading strategy. Here are some words from chapter 6. Identify how many syllables each word has when you say and clap them. Mistake. 
explorer, stuffed, tutus, imagine, awesome, fantabulous, completely, hallway, longest, house, whole, changed, scattered, full, carpet, bottles, shove, loaded, water slide, swimming, 20, flick, channels. Polly's wish comes true and the book magically creates her dream house. What is a wish that you would make if it could come true? Why would you wish for this? Explain your thinking. Then describe if you have ever made a wish for your birthday, in a fountain with a coin, or on a star, and if it came true. Sometimes words can have different meanings. These words are called homonyms. For example, Polly says she wants a club sandwich, which is a sandwich that has chicken, lettuce, and bacon on bread. The book thought she meant a club like a baseball bat, and then the shape club on a deck of cards. What are some words that have different meanings? Here are some examples you can discuss or investigate the different meanings. Bark, bat, fair, lie, match.